The U.S. secret operation for internal disturbance and overthrow of our system will be frustrated by an all-people anti-U.S. resistance, including three million children's union members and five million young people as well. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un had been briefed, as I said, on military plans to potentially strike the U.S. territory of Guam. Kim Jong-un listened to a report of determination of General Kim Rak-yum at the center of the command on the proposal of converging fire of the Guam island the strategic force is now preparing. He examined the proposal in detail for a long time and discussed with leading personnel in real earnest. He praised the strategic force of the Korean People's Army for having mapped out the proposal very minutely and prudently according to the plan and intention of the Workers' Party of Korea, and inspected the preparations of firing for part demonstration. Hearing the report of the commander of the strategic force that they have finished the preparations for converging fire of the Guam Island and are waiting for an order of the Party Central Committee, Kim Jong-un said, the senseless military confrontation of the U.S. imperialists has put news around their neck with their own hands. We will watch more the attitude of the silly and stupid Yankees who are spending a tiresome time threatening their miserable lot. I would like to give an advice to the United States which is acting senselessly without any measures and thus bringing the situation of the Korean Peninsula to the worst phase of explosion. The United States had better ponder on the merits with its clear head, which side is more unfavorable under the present circumstances. For relaxing the situation and preventing dangerous military conflicts in the Korean Peninsula, the United States, which has deployed a lot of nuclear strategic hardware around us and caused a troublesome situation, must take a correct option. The United States must immediately stop its arrogant provocative act and unilateral demand on us and refrain from provoking us anymore. If the Yankees persist in their dangerous acts around the Korean Peninsula, testing our willpower, we will make a crucial determination as we have already declared. If they do not want to disgrace themselves in the face of the world beaten by us again, they must think reasonably and make correct judgment. Defense Secretary James Mattis warned earlier today what will happen if they dare to do that. Listen to this. If they fire at the United States, it could escalate into war very quickly. Yes, that's called war if they, if they shoot at us. If they do that, then it's game on. If the U.S. recklessness exceeds limit and our planned firing for power demonstrations starts, it will be the most thrilling historic moment when our passing artillerymen would strangle the windpipe of the Yankees and plunge a dagger into their neck. You should be always ready for launch so that you can go over to a real action at any time once the party is determined. Elated by his deep trust, the service personnel of the strategic force of the Korean People's Army made a burning resolve to win the final victory in the anti-U.S. confrontation by scotching the targets of South Korea, Japan, the Pacific Operational Zone and the U.S. mainland with a most powerful annihilative strike, flying the sacred Red Party flag and the flag of the Supreme Commander at every invincible launching pad once Kim Jong-un gives an order. Trump administration officials say they're pushing for a diplomatic solution to the North Korea crisis, even as the Pentagon examines all its military options. New reaction from North Korea. Ben? Good morning. So the North Korean government had been noticeably quiet for several days, but this morning issued a new threat through its state media. And part of that threat says, despite our warning, if the U.S. continues to wield a nuclear bat in front of a nuclear power, it will only accelerate its own self-destruction. Now, earlier today, the U.S. and Japan conducted large-scale joint military exercises on Japan's northernmost island. And over the weekend, Japan installed four missile interceptor systems, which could be used to shoot down North Korean missiles that fly over Japan.
the United States must remember this. Any attempt for preemptive attack frequently talked about by the U.S. military war fanatics will be mercilessly destroyed by a preventive preemptive attack of us time. Immediately after the U.S. reckless attempt for preemptive attack is revealed, our preemptive attack will start to make Seoul and the whole area under the control of the first and the third South Korean field armies a sea of flames and lead to a simultaneous attack at the whole depth of South Korea and to the strike to overpower the launching bases of the U.S. forces in the Asia-Pacific operational area. Meanwhile, the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff met with South Korea's president today in Seoul. Marine General Joseph Dunford said the United States is ready to use what he called the full range of its military capabilities to defend itself and its allies from North Korea. Dunford is now heading here to Beijing where he will meet with China's military leaders. All these military movers in the ground, sea and air clearly show that the DPRK targeted nuclear war frenzy of Trump and the U.S. authorities has reached the extremely reckless stage beyond the scope of danger. As for the U.S. infeasible attempt to conduct a so-called beheading operation aimed at the supreme leadership of our revolution, preemptive retaliatory operation of our style to destroy the vicious plotters will start no sooner than the slightest provocation is made. Any commando troops, no matter how well trained and prepared, the notorious Navy SEAL, will be totally smashed before they are near the supreme leadership of our revolution, either in the sea and air, out of the blockade line, where our sovereignty is exercised, or in the southern area of the military demarcation line. Once the U.S. movers for preventive war are detected, our army will immediately turn the U.S. mainland into a theater of nuclear war. It must not forget even a moment that its escalating attempt of aggression will only result in tougher military countermeasures of our army. If the United States follows the road of military adventure in disregard of the stern warning of our revolutionary armed forces, the miserable ruin of the American empire will be further accelerated at faster speed. Defense Secretary James Mattis said yesterday that a shot at Guam would, quote, could quickly escalate rather into war and that the U.S. would not allow North Korea to use this island for target practice, a relief to officials here. This information at least gives us uh, reason to believe that uh, Kim Jong-un has kind of paused his intention of uh, shooting anything in, in our direction. The U.S. Secretary of Defense, Mattis, the Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, Dan Ford, the U.S. Joint Special Warfare Forces Commander, Thomas, and other military fanatics of Pentagon, repeatedly emphasized the need for the beheading operation, preemptive attack on North Korea, secret war, internal disturbance operation, and special operation. Synchronizing with it, the 82nd Airborne Division, the only paratrooping division of the U.S. Imperialist Aggression Forces, started a larger-scale paratrooping and deployment exercise to be sent to the Korean front and the 25th Light Infantry Division and the 10th Mountain Warfare Division are staging an exercise to be adapted to the geographical situation of the Korean Peninsula. The formations of B-52H strategic bombers conducted a drill for dropping PDU-5B leaflets for psychological warfare at the Edward Air Base in California State as part of a secret operation to cause disturbance in the depth of our army. The two U.S. nuclear carrier striking flotillas, nuclear submarine, and many other naval forces are planned to be deployed in the waters around the Korean Peninsula. Now, it, you know, the ball really is in North Korea's court. They can back down and take the Golden Bridge out that we have offered them, and that's what I think all of us hope uh, will, will happen. The United States must immediately give up its senseless military provocations against our country so that we cannot take such an unavoidable military option.